Hey, this is Young Cover here with a uh, uh, with a gear review from uh, Max Expedition Hard Use Gear. That's just what it is. It's Max Expedition, but it says Hard Use Gear here. Um, this is my first product from Max Expedition. Uh, I have nothing against the company, but um, I just don't really carry this kind of stuff. I guess so. I haven't really gotten a chance to give them a try. Um, so with that being said, uh, I paid fifteen dollars for this. Um, which I think is an awesome price for what you get. I'll read you the specs right now so I can get that out of the way. Um, <clears throat> with the, I'll read the front ones. Overall dimensions are 3.5 inches wide by 5.5 inches high. One inch deep. Uh, the front is a mesh slip pocket and then the back, this hook part, is a 3 fourth inch webbing grab handle and it's box and X stitched. I'll go over that in a little bit, but uh, what I have in the pocket here, in the front pocket, is just uh, just my pocket watch. Uh, I usually carry it on my, uh, not my pocket watch, my wrist watch. Um, I usually carry it on my wrist, but uh, I just had it in here to show like what you could put in here, I guess. You could always, uh, I don't know, stick a lighter in here if you want. I don't know, if you're going camping, you might think a lighter is more important than a watch. I don't know, but, you know. I thought maybe if I go somewhere where I want to have something, not just in my pockets, but I want it in the case, I'd want to watch more than I want a lighter. Because, practically, I don't use a lighter for anything. Um, I don't smoke or anything, so I don't need it for that. Uh, it's just, I think Zippo's are cool, so. But, you know, if I ever went camping, again, uh, I'd, I'd want a lighter more than a watch. So, that's why I have that in there. Take that out now. <clears throat> On the back, I said it was X. It was box stitched. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's box stitched, and then an X through it, which is an X stitch, making it like really tough and strong. Um, on some of the bigger ones, you you get two of these strings and two zipper pulls, one at each side. But uh, one this small, uh, one should suffice, or B should suffice. I don't know. I forget how to use that word. <laughs> I actually got corrected on that word the other day, and I forget. <laughs> I said it. I said the. I said it the wrong way. I forget. <clears throat> on the right side, I'll go the right side first. I'll read you the specs about both of these sides. On the left, um, slip pocket with which is this is the slip pocket, um, and then uh, three divisions of one inch wide. Now I'm gonna get a ruler because. I just want to be sure because this uh, thing is kind of weird about its measurements. Yeah, it's about an inch. All right, so one inch uh, wide, uh, kind of elastic band kind of thing, and then on the right side it's two one and a half inch. Does that make? It? Yeah, one and a half. <coughs> um, and a tie down loop at the top, which is right here. All right, now that I got the specs out of the way, I can actually talk about it. <laughs> On the right side, I have a Leatherman Wingman. I'll take that out. I have a clip right here because it's kind of slim design. So as you can see right here, it slides around. So I just have this so it can slide a um, minimum way up and a minimum way down. <clears throat> I thought about doing it or about not doing that because it might uh, like rip this part, but I think it's okay. <clears throat> I have the Leatherman Wingman. I love this thing. My only full size multi tool right now. And I like it a lot. 30 bucks, you get a, a locking blade, locking pair of scissors, and then like six or seven tools on the inside. I think it's actually five. I was wrong. <laughs> and then you get spring loaded pliers and wire cutters. Um, you know what? In and in a pocket clip, I like it a lot. I think some other people might not like it as much, but I like it a lot. <laughs> Then right here, I got a uh, Nightcore MT2C. Um, this was a gift. I, I really like this light. I would really recommend it. And if you're looking for a light with a uh, high high lumen output and um, around the $40 range, I'd go with this one. I'm sure there are better lights out there, but I'm glad I chose this one. It's uh, comfortable in the hand. It's got good ergonomics for a flashlight. And uh, I like it a lot. Runs on two CR one two threes or one eighteen six fifty I think. All right, 
And then in the back I have this little credit card survival tool. I'll read you what it has on it. I haven't really talked about this one that much. It's a multi-purpose pocket survival tool. It's got a can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, ruler, cap opener, four position wrench, butterfly wrench, saw blade, direction and killery indication, I think. Two position wrench and a lanyard hole. Um, just kind of a cool thing. It was like a, a dollar, and I, so I picked up five, and I gave them to a bunch of people for Christmas. Uh, kind of a cool gift. Um, I don't know. Thought I'd just put it in the back, see what you can put in there. You can put paracord, and uh, this thing, uh, I don't know I don't know what you could really do with it. You can do all kinds of stuff, I guess. The left side, I have a spy, uh, I almost said spider cup. Uh, Kershaw Skyline. Uh, orange, like this knife a lot. Waited too long to get it. I like it almost too much. And then I have uh, the the Victorinox Tinker. You might see that I have it upside down. Um, that's because you see it can't really move down without me pushing it. But if it was like this, if you can see how it gets thinner at the top, so the elastic only does so much. But if it gets down too much, it's just gonna slip out. So uh, put it in upside down, it gets thicker, so it's it's harder to get loose. And then in the back, I have this pen. Uh, it's one of my favorite pens. I don't know why. Just like the way it writes. It's uh, just a uniball pen. Blue ink. I like it. <laughs> um, at the top, it says, uh, Maxpedition, American design, made in Taiwan. Um, I don't really mind. You know, it's it's, it's a good product, good company. Um, I don't really see why that matters so much. Um, well, some people it does, some people it doesn't. To me, it doesn't, you know, if I get something American-made, like the Skyline, really happy about it, you know, really proud to, to own it. It's a nice knife, made in America. But then again, you can get something like the Boker Trance, made in Taiwan. And, uh, you know what, I like this knife, it's fine. I don't really mind if it's made in another country, I mean, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good design, so it's going to be a good pr uh, production folder. I don't know, just my thought. Um, I believe this is Teflon coated material. Uh, I think that's what it said in the uh, info box. But um, I really like this. Um, can't believe I waited so long to uh, to get something from Maxpedition. I'm really happy I made the purchase. Um, I believe this is 550 paracord. Um, I don't have any doubts why it wouldn't be. But, um, you know, pretty strong comes in uh, this color, which is the khaki uh, desert sand color, I guess. It comes in, like, green, dark green. Ranger green is what I think it's called. Could be wrong. And then it comes in black. Um, I don't know. I thought I wouldn't like this color because, for some reason, I'm not a big fan of, like, desert colors. I don't know why. I feel like it's, like, it would be too bright. But this is, like, a really dark beige color. It looks really good. And it doesn't look like too much out of the ordinary. Um, I chose this color because this is really the only one I could find. Um, not the only one I could find, but I was just on uh, eBay looking around, and I, and I found this one, and I decided to go for it. Uh, pretty happy with the purchase. Uh, I was Like I said, I don't know if I already said it. It was 15 bucks, and I, I really like it. It's a really good design. It's really it's, I feel like it's going to be really tough and uh, durable. And I just... Um, like I said, I was just showing kind of the different things that you could uh, put it in or put in it. Um, one thing that I think will be a problem after a while is I feel like this stitching, if it's if it's too much uh, stretched out, this part could rip. But I, I bet if you send it into a Maxpedition, they'll fix it for you. Or I could probably fix it. Um, don't really know. I feel like they'd, they'd be able to... Uh, back up their products. I have the tag from it right over here. I'll tell you if it says anything. Um, it says uh, Maxpedition Hard Use Gear is the primary innovator and premier manufacturer of everyday hard use gear. Re renowned for utilizing the highest quality materials. I'll read it. Uh, Limited lifetime warranty. Warranty. There we go. Max. Max. Uh, my gosh, I can't read. 
Maxpedition extends a limited lifetime warranty covering all products against manufa manufacturer defects, including flaws in materials and workmanship. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess they won't fix it. Uh, I don't really know, though. I'm sure if you just say that it wasn't stitched right, or, I mean, if it breaks, I'm, I'm guessing it wasn't stitched right. Unless you're trying to stick, like, 40 things in there. But, uh, you know, I'm sure it's fine. Um, outside is box stitched and X stitched, which is pretty strong. So, I'm, I've got no, uh, doubts about this part. Um, uh, just my thought, uh, really nice, uh, pocket organizer. Uh, this would, this fits, I, I had, I was holding it in my, um, cargo shorts pocket, like the wide pocket at the bottom. Um, I even got it in my jeans pocket, but it wasn't that full, and it was, like, really chunky in the pocket, and it looked kind of weird. So, I might carry this, like, in a backpack, like, in the, uh, mesh side pocket of a backpack, maybe, if I'm, if I'm carrying a backpack. I don't know, though, I really like it, and I'm gonna try and carry this one more. Um, that's my review. Thanks for watching.